We begin by evaluating integral x dx upon square root of 1 minus x square. Set 1 minus x square is equal to t square and taking the derivative of both sides we get minus 2x dx is equal to 2t dt which implies that x dx is equal to minus t dt. Therefore integral x dx upon square root of 1 minus x square is equal to integral minus t dt in the numerator and the denominator is square root of t square or t. The t cancels and the value of this integral is equal to minus t plus the constant of integration. Substituting the value of t we get minus square root of 1 minus x square plus the constant of integration. Now we go back to the given integral 0 to half x sine inverse x dx upon square root of 1 minus x square. The integrand can be broken into two components. The first component is x upon square root of 1 minus x square. And this is multiplied with sine inverse x. Now we integrate by parts. The first term is equal to the integral of x upon square root of 1 minus x square which is equal to minus square root of 1 minus x square determined above times sine inverse x and this is between the limits x is equal to 0 to half minus the second term which is integral x going from 0 to half integral of x upon square root of 1 minus x square which is minus square root of 1 minus x square times the derivative of sine inverse x which is 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square. The integrand in the second term simplifies and putting in the limits in the first term we get minus in brackets square root of 1 minus 1 upon 4 times sine inverse half minus square root of 1 minus 0 times sine inverse 0 and the second term is integral dx which is equal to x between the limits 0 and half. The first term simplifies is equal to minus square root of 3 upon 4 times sine inverse half which is equal to pi upon 6 and the second term is equal to half minus 0. Therefore the value of the given integral is equal to half minus square root of 3 upon 2 times pi upon 6 which simplifies to 6 minus pi root 3 divided by 12 which is the required answer.